getting a no signal message on your Samsung TV? Don't worry, you're not alone. This is one of the most common HDMI problems, and while it can be super frustrating, it's usually an easy fix. In this video, I'll guide you step by step through the most effective ways to solve it. Whether your console, streaming stick or Blu-ray player isn't showing up on screen, stick around and we'll get your HDMI working and your screen back to normal in no time. First things first, let's double check you're on the right input source. Sometimes the problem is as simple as having selected the wrong HDMI port on your TV. Using your remote, go into the TV menu and locate the source or input button. From there, cycle through the available HDMI inputs, especially if you've connected multiple devices. It may seem obvious, but it's a step that's often overlooked. If that doesn't do the trick, a power cycle might just be the quick reset you need. Turn off your Samsung TV, unplug it from the power outlet, and wait for about 60 seconds. Then plug it back in and turn it on. This resets the internal hardware and refreshes HDMI communication between your TV and connected devices. It's simple, but surprisingly effective. Now let's inspect your HDMI cables and ports. Begin by unplugging the HDMI cable and looking for any signs of visible damage. Frayed wires, bent pins, or even light scuffing can all impact performance. Try using a different HDMI cable if you have one nearby. Also, check your TV's HDMI ports to make sure they're clean and free of dust. A soft brush, like a small paintbrush or an old toothbrush, can help remove any debris. Be gentle while doing this, and avoid forcing the cable back in. Loose or dusty ports can easily cause signal interruptions. Next, it's time to talk compatibility. Are you using a modern HDMI 2.1 cable with a device like a PS5, Xbox Series X, or a 4K Blu-ray player? If so, your Samsung TV needs to support HDMI 2.1 to handle those higher refresh rates and resolutions. If your TV is older and only supports HDMI 1.4 or 2.0, there could be a mismatch. Refer to your user manual or search your TV's model number online to confirm which HDMI versions your ports support. If there's a mismatch, try using a cable that aligns better with your TV's capabilities to restore the signal. Samsung also includes helpful built-in tools to detect HDMI issues. Go to your TV settings, then navigate to the support menu. Under device care or self-diagnosis, you'll find an option for HDMI troubleshooting. Run this self-test to check for port-related errors. If you're using ARC, which stands for Audio Return Channel, or EERC for enhanced audio with a soundbar or receiver, make sure AnyNet Plus HDMI CEC is enabled in the general external device manager settings. This setting allows your TV to communicate with other HDMI devices and is essential for proper audio sync and volume control. Now for some hands-on tips. If you're still having trouble, try lightly pressing around the HDMI port with your thumb while the cable is plugged in. Don't force anything, but sometimes connections can become slightly loose from repeated use. Applying gentle pressure can help reseat the cable just enough to restore the link. Still no luck. If none of the previous steps worked, your last option might be a factory reset. Just a heads up. This will erase all your apps, settings, and personal preferences, and return your TV to how it was when you first bought it. To do it, go to Settings, General, Reset. You'll be asked for a PIN, the default is usually 0000. Once your TV restarts, go through the setup process again and check if your HDMI is finally working. We've covered a lot, but these fixes are often all it takes to get your HDMI inputs functioning again. Hopefully, your Samsung TV is now picking up signals as expected, and you're back to enjoying your content. If this video helped you avoid replacing cables or calling support, give it a thumbs up. It really helps more people find these fixes. Subscribe for more No Fluff Tech Guides. And if you're still having issues or have a question, drop a comment below. I do my best to respond and help out. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.